Lee Beth exemplifies the magnitude of migratory behavior that these animals can exhibit. You know, Lee, Lee Beth went down south past the Florida Keys into the Gulf of Mexico. And we know a lot of white sharks will go into the Gulf of Mexico and typically stay on the eastern side of the Gulf. Lee Beth broke that rule and kept moving to the west, you know, past Louisiana, past Texas and, and down and even cross the Mexican border, which is really very important to know. And these border crossings are really significant as far as I'm concerned, because, you know, when a species of fish crosses U.S. borders and enters, you know, either international waters, which white sharks do, or the, the territorial waters uh, of other countries, you now have to talk about, you know, sharing data and coming up with sustainable management plans and conservation policies, working with other countries. You know, because the U.S. could protect a species, but if the country, you know, whose waters are being penetrated by these species of fish, including white sharks, are not, then, you know, our efforts may be meaningless. And so it's critically important now when we think about white sharks, as we do with other species of sharks, in terms of, you know, multilateral, working with other countries, international conservation plans.